G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Just want to do a quick video here about a program that I'd read about and seen screenshots of, but never actually used. And while I was in at my mate's computer business yesterday, he showed me uh, how he uses it for administering a server overseas. The program's called WinSCP. Now I'd heard about it, but I'd never actually really used it. And I really didn't know much about it. So this morning I decided I'd get a hold of it while I'm doing a whole pile of other things at the moment. And um, I'm really impressed. So what I've got it here at the moment is an SSH root login session down to my OpenBSD 6.0 virtual machine sitting on the ESXi server. And over here on the right hand pane, there is everything on my OpenBSD server or OpenBSD machine. So I've got full access to anything and everything I want. I'm going to the LDAP. I can uh, edit files. So if I say I want to go into, uh, let's see, what can we edit here? We'll go into SSH and we'll go to the SSH config. You can see there I can pull up a uh, text editor and, and um, make the necessary changes. So it's also good for transferring files between two systems, downloading files to one system. It's not webmin. And as you know, I've been having trouble with Webmin on OpenBSD. Uh, problems with both the Perl and the Python systems on OpenBSD have been causing me trouble with Webmin. But this is good. So, uh, so far, I'm very impressed. At the moment, also, I've got a um, X11 VNC session down to the OpenBSD virtual machine at the moment as well. But um, I've got to be honest with you, I'm, I'm really, really impressed with this. I... I'd seen about it, but I'd never used it. But also, you see, I can actually download files, you know, from this machine across to this machine or vice versa. Uh, I can do transfer files. The other thing I can do too is if I update something, uh, say a, a config file or something here, I don't actually have to send it back over. I can set up a automated update link that every time I change something on, you know, say this side, it'll automatically update it to this side. So it works with both Linux and Unix, uh, Windows and Windows, etc., etc., etc. It uses the PuTTY uh, system, so all the back end of PuTTY, to use this. But if you haven't got PuTTY, it'll use whatever SSH system you've got. Now, I've got Mobber Xterm, which has got PuTTY's back end in it as well, which makes it easy for configuration and setup. So there's a quick video for you on uh, WinSCP, and at the moment I'm really impressed. I guess the next thing to do will be to launch it out in the workshop onto the e-server and the V490 and see how it goes from there. Anyway, quick video there. Have a look at WinSCP if you, if you need to do this sort of stuff because it's a really handy little program. Anyway, quick overview there. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.